So I've been riding with the LiPo 52 volt pack for about a week now and based on the results I don't think I'm going to be going back to the other one very soon. The performance is a lot better with this type of battery. Now usually with my ride videos I just let it play all the way through but I thought I'd try something a bit different this time and just show some key parts of the ride and talk a bit about them. In terms of gear ratios the bike has a 38 tooth front sprocket. The rear cassette has an 11 to 32 tooth range. So far with the LiPo, I'm doing most of my riding in the 18 to 24 tooth range. The 28 tooth provides some good pull up steeper hills to get going. The 18 tooth is topping out at just over 60 kilometers an hour on the downhill runs. I've not really had to use the 18 tooth much on the flat as I've been keeping up with traffic in the 21 and the 24 tooth sprockets. I've not had the opportunity to shift any higher than this, so as far as top speed goes, I'm not really quite sure yet. I had the stock version up to 69 km an hour on the downhill run, but that was in the 12T sprocket, so top speed ought to be a bit higher with the ASI. So on to the riding. So we start off with a steady ride in the 24 tooth gear. It gives a good balance of speed and acceleration for residential streets. Apart from this idiot of a taxi driver who seems unable to use the flashy things on the side of his car. The bike is lagging a bit after I get past the taxi and I probably should have shifted back down to the 24 tooth gear. Onto the hill down into town. I must admit, I'm looking forward to doing this on a clear day. But even so, I start in the 18T as it's a downhill run, and by the time I'm getting to the point where I need to break the traffic, I'm already over 60 km an hour. There are another five gears to go on the sprockets from here. bottom of the hill is the only part of my ride where I really run the traffic and the bike in the 24 tooth sprocket easily accelerates with traffic and on its own. After exiting from the side streets, we have a quick run down to the lights to cross over the railway tracks and I go through the gears and I'm almost up to 60 km an hour by the time I run out of road here. In terms of the hill climb, this is a fairly steady 8-10% to grade. In the 24T sprocket, the bike accelerates smoothly to speeds of over 40 km an hour, which is pretty good for this kind of grade with 52 volts. I can maybe use shifting down in places to reduce the amps being drawn by the controller and the motor. Notice that even under the heaviest loads, the voltage sag with the LiPo is around 1.25 volts.
So overall, a much punchier performance with the LiPo. It's actually using less watt hours than my other battery and attaining higher speeds as it's better suited to the power that the motor can draw. The other advantage is that the airflow is improved to the motor so it's running cooler. I'm getting a few comments about the noise the bike makes so I'm going to try and shoot some footage from different perspectives. People generally notice me on the trails from about 50 meters away so it can't actually be that loud to other people. I'm also running a competition on the channel for anyone that hasn't heard for some pretty decent prizes. So if you click on the link that if I did things right is showing now and you can get some details. The prize at 2,500 subs is a fully customized NXT display with graphics, case, the lot. So that's one to look out for there. Cheers.